I don't do bro. And I come from theatre performance, contemporary dance, and I write for performance. I had very specific ideas of what I wanted in the film, and I wouldn't compromise on that, yeah. because that had to be the very strict narrative of this. So Gail, what made you want to turn your story into this installation? I was interested in looking at performativity, autobiography, and performing autoethnography. And I was wanting to bring my past and my childhood uh, back, uh, relive it, resurrect it, like resuscitate it, whatever you want. And I just, um, I was quite persistent. I had integrity, I had this vision, and I wanted an exhibition installation that was immersive, but not interactive. A shoot might be uncomfortable for people, and it might be a bit intimidating for them to walk into this house and see these characters from everyday activity living. Uh, and, I'm, and it's more about a happening rather than performance. You know, it's been great working with Gary. I think it's fantastic that we've got this right in the northwest, in Liverpool, uh, to celebrate queer, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender uh, performance, mm -hmm. art, and it brings that together with all the diverse practitioners that are out there. Yeah. And I think it's fantastic, you know, that we have that, and I'm very privileged to have been part of it this year. So we may see a stage version of this in a few you years. You may see a stage version of it next year. I'm going to be going uh, around Europe and a second and funeral heart with Krista Bray, <laughs> uh, the death of drag. I'm travelling all the way to Berlin. Berlin? Yeah, the roots of cabaret. Yeah. Uh, I'm restaging acts or routines or terms. I love that word. <laughs> routine. <laughs> I've been Kieran Millett. She's been Gail Force. And we're, we're signing, signing off for Vibe Media. Media.